Hi y'all, it's Jacqueline with Color Me Perfect and I wanted to talk to you about an unsung hero in our makeup line. And this is known as our brow tint fibers. Okay, like I'm obsessed and for those of you that love brow lamination, you love brow tinting, but maybe you're just in between appointments and you don't have time, this is your secret weapon. So we have multiple shades. We have warm brunette, we have a blonde, we have a light brunette, cool brunette, we have fawn, and we have auburn. So we have something that really meets everyone's needs as far as in color, but let me teach you how to use them. Okay, so I kind of go in between brunette, light, and sometimes uh, blonde. So we'll do blonde on one side and I'm gonna basically show you how to use it. So you can see there's like little fibers that this little, kind of like a little spoolie brush on the end has, and then it's got like a tint in it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna brush into your brow, and you can do this by, you press a little bit, but I wanna comb my hairs more up because I like the look of a fuller brow. And kind of combing them up gives you that brow lamination look too. So you can see like this brow looks a lot fuller. I like to use less in the front of it. Now, if I get a little too much on, I just blend it out with the spoolie brush. And then where I lack hair is right at the top of the brow. So I'm gonna use like the tip and fill that in just a little bit. Then I'm gonna brush this out here. Okay, filling it in. Okay, so this here is blonde, like I said, and it's probably the lightest color that we have. So that's one option. Like I said, you can fill in the front as much as you like. I like a little bit less. And then I'm focusing more on this top area here because I want a fuller top. All right, and we're going to, I'm gonna use a different shade. I'm gonna use my mineral powder right here because I like that soft front. I'm gonna use a different shade for this side just so you can see the difference. Um, I'm gonna use Brunette Light. And it's a, quite a bit darker, but then you'll kind of learn, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. So first I'm gonna brush straight up. Again, if I touch my, you, your goal is not to really touch your skin, but to lightly rake over your skin. See the combing up? Okay. And then now I'm gonna focus on my tails. It's a little bit hard to do when I'm doing it in the phone and in a mirror at the same time. Okay, now again, I wanna focus on my top because that's where I've lost more hair is really on my brow, the top of my brow. Okay, and then now, one second, let me scoot this. I'm gonna get a spoolie out. Kinda to blend my front out a little bit because I like my front to be more blended.
And again, focusing just on my top. And I like it because you can kind of layer it to create more depth in your brow too. You know, it gives the illusion of a fuller brow. So there we go. It's kind of like a laminated slash tinted brow in between your appointments. And we can get by. This is not replacing your brow tint and your brow lamination, but I, I think it's very helpful. Okay, so we played around with the brow tint, brow fibers. Obviously this brow is too dark, but I wanted to show you, this is the color I typically use. I just wanted to show you kind of how it works. And I really recommend you find the right color. It's, it's awesome. And then I did hot yoga yesterday and my brows stayed. It did not drip, it did not move. They were in perfect position throughout the entire, and I do Bikram yoga, so it's even hotter, 110 degrees. So I definitely think you should pick one up for the summer. You're going to love it. I'll see you next time. Take care.